Oolongs are processed similar to a black tea, but they don't fully oxidize the leaves. They just bruise the edges, so you end up with a very smooth infusion. You don't have the bitterness and the briskness of a black tea, but you have the freshness of a green tea. The oolongs need a rinse. Some teas need a rinse because they need all the dust to be removed um, and the debris, but oolongs need a rinse because they need to wake up. After the first maybe 20 seconds of a steep in a hot water, pitch that water and then go back and add your 170 to 180 degree water, not boiling water like a black, and infuse this for three to four minutes. Oolongs are uh, very popular in Chinese restaurants, mainly before, because of the um, reinfusion that they allow. You can take these oolong leaves and probably reinfuse the same pot or cup several times. I've infused oolong leaves up to seven or eight times and the flavor changes with every cup. Okay, so this is infused for about three minutes. And this is considered a brown oolong, obviously by the color. A greener leaf oolong will give you a definitely lighter infusion, but it's definitely not as dark as the black tea and it's definitely smoother. Oolongs are known for their uh, woodsy and floral undertones. I'm going to show you the loose leaves. Same leaves. These dry to these wet. This dense amount expanded to this volume. And then you can tell how tight they're rolled still, that there's more tea flavor to be had. So you definitely want to reinfuse an oolong. Oolongs are known for their multiple infusions. To wrap up, brewing a cup of oolong tea. You're going to want to rinse the leaves, steep it in slightly cooler water than boiling, 170, 180, or just that rumble of your teapot. Fuse it for three to four minutes and enjoy your cup because the next time you infuse your oolong leaves, it's going to be a different taste. And the next time, and the next time, and that's the joy of enjoying an oolong.